today obviously I'm, I'm releasing uh, this document which is our Victorian Government uh, plan to cut carbon emissions by 20% by 2020. Uh, we will be the first Australian state uh, with a clear plan to cut emissions by 20% by 2020. Uh, we need to do this. We need to do this to improve our environment. We need to do this to tackle climate change. Um, the weight of scientific opinion in Australia and internationally is overwhelming and we need to tackle this issue and we need to tackle it now before the costs um, escalate into the future. Uh, the plan outlines the 10 action areas. I don't propose to go through all of those again, uh, but, uh, but I will just highlight um, a couple there. Um, we will be the solar capital of Australia. Um, we will see 5% of our energy generated by solar by 2020. On top of the renewable energy target, that will mean 25% of total energy uh, generated in our state uh, through renewable sources by 2020. On coal, um, we've got an issue with coal. It's always been uh, the mainstay, if you like, of our energy generation in Victoria. But we've got a particularly um, old and dirty power station, which is Hazelwood. Um, had there been a carbon price, Hazelwood was slated to close in 2016. But because of the uncertainty that exists at the moment, um, we've got new investment which has been deferred indefinitely until there is certainty in relation to Hazelwood. So until we provide a clear path forward in relation to Hazelwood, we won't see new gas-based generation come online in Victoria. And so the announcement today is about a staged closure of Hazelwood. Hazelwood has got eight units. We're announcing today that by 2014, we intend to achieve the closure of two of those units and a reduction, by the way, in emissions of something like 400 million tonnes as a result of that. Um, if you're going to target uh, the environment, if you're going to target climate change, if you're going to actually reduce emissions, you can't do it without focusing on Hazelwood. And so I think the beauty of the approach in relation to Hazelwood, the stage closure, it's not only good for the environment and good in terms of tackling climate change, it will also bring forward new gas generation, could be at Mortlake, could be at Shaw River with Santos, which to date has been indefinitely shelved because of the policy uncertainty in relation to a carbon price. So the decision today is good for the economy, it's also good for the environment. I've mentioned to you previously on the household and business efficiency. Um, this will drive hundreds of millions of dollars of new investment in our small and medium sized businesses as well as in our homes to ensure that we get the benefit of a better environment but also all other things being equal, lower power bills for householders and for businesses as they improve their energy efficiency and drive down their energy consumption. The other one that I wanted to mention today too <coughs> uh, was the uh, motor registration, the voluntary offset program. Um, this is entirely voluntary. I want to repeat, it's entirely voluntary. And the reason we're introducing it is because there are many motorists, many motorists, who want to make a difference. There are many motorists who, uh, they're busy people, they want to be able to tick a form, um, tick a box on a form and know that they are offsetting their carbon emissions. So it's entirely voluntary. If you're an ordinary motorist doing 20,000 kilometres a year, it would cost you about $80 to offset your carbon emissions. That money will flow into a carbon fund and then be used for things like reforestation, um, tree planting in agricultural areas or soil uh, uh, carbon sequestration. So those things will help the environment and for motorists we give them the option. Uh, for every one of those, uh, if they wish to make a difference, um, they can do that. Um, finally on government, government is leading by example. We are lifting our green power from 25% up to 50%. Um, so again, that will be leading Australia. Uh, and we're spending 160 million on some of our older buildings, bringing them up from one star, two star, um, up to five star or better. So all of this um, is about making a difference. It's about securing our state uh, for the future. It's about making sure that we're not just the most productive state in Australia. We're not just the most livable state in Australia with top quality education and health systems but we are also the most sustainable state in the future.